Hi, this is Samuel Peary with Getting Finances Done and 12 Weeks to Fiscal Fitness. And in the last screencast, we went through starting to allocate our funds for our monthly budget. We had a, a $2,000 check deposited. We added that to the buffer, so we had $3,200 to budget. And I've gone through and actually allocated everything through. Now, at this point, there's going to be two scenarios. One is that you've completely allocated for your full budget on just that one paycheck. If you did have a buffer and if you were a little bit ahead, that may be possible. The second scenario is that you budgeted the $2,000 and you haven't really filled all your budget categories yet and so you're going to need to rely upon your next paycheck. Um, in either case what you're going to want to do is print out your budget. And this is where you print it out and sign it and review it with your with your spouse or significant other. So as we do that let's scroll over. Let me show you how to print. To print uh, you're going to need to whatever column or whatever month is on the leftmost in you need a budget is going to be the one that prints. So that's why I just moved from March to April because we want to print that month's budget. Now we're going to go over to file and we're going to print to PDF. And we're going to choose an output file and it, it prints all these by default in PDF and I believe that's the only option that you have. So let's do you need a budget and it's going to name it April 2010. That's fine. And we've saved it. Now let's go and open that up. Here it is. Sorry, this is taking a second. And here it's opening up. Well, we almost got it. Here it is, our budget for April 2007. Now, when we print this out, we're going to want to do a couple of things. Uh, we're we're going to want to print it out, and then we're going to want to take notes. And there isn't a note column here, but that's fine. This works just, just fine for that. Um, once you print it out, there's plenty of space, and you'll go down the categories. And if it's standard for that month, there's nothing surprising um, about it, then just don't put anything. But if there's a special uh, instance, like for example we had the furniture savings under household furniture right here then you might want to write in pen and say hey we're saving up for this or that purchase or whatever if there's any other unusual expenses or something that was maybe a one-time thing that you're allocating for um, my wife and I like to make a note of that so that we know because otherwise when we're looking back on past budgets if we need to refer to it then we get confused as to you know what that was for so go ahead and write any notes here and then actually print out and sign this document and put it in your uh, personal finance binder. So that's what you do. Now in the, in the case where you've budgeted for the whole month, then this can act as your budget for the whole month. If you have to allocate additional checks that you get in the future throughout the month, then you're going to want to print out multiple copies of this. So you'll print out one for right now, and then once you get your additional income and allocate that, then you're going to print out a second copy. So you may end up with one or two or even three different budgeting sheets throughout the month that show what's been going on and that you want to you know, collaborate with your spouse on. So that's the next step. Go ahead and do that and print it out and put it in your binder, and we'll talk to you soon.